Biographer and historical fiction author L.S. Hilton has hit the bestseller lists with her erotic thriller Maestra. Ten met her recently in Dublin to find out more. It's about art, um, it's about um, paintings, and the paintings are quite key to, to the story of the book. So I did have to use some of my historical research skills when I was writing it. The heroine of Maestra is feisty, ambitious, ruthless, and brutally funny. She's a woman of great appetence, um, not just for sex, but for, for sensual pleasure, um, for power. I think the only thing, perversely perhaps, that she's not interested in is money. She doesn't like money for its own sake. Here are some things that happen when you've murdered someone. You jump at the sound of the radio. You never walk into an empty room. The white noise of your knowledge will never silence, and sometimes there are monsters in your dreams. Yet, with the disappearance of the stubs, the last link with my own life had gently snapped. Until Rome, I saw that I had been reacting, harried by circumstance. I had believed I had a plan, but it hadn't really consisted of much except getting the hell out of Dodge. I wanted people to, to root for her. I wanted um, all the readers to stay with the story, to, to be excited by her, to kind of want her to win, even though, I mean, one really shouldn't want her to win at all. She's a despicable individual in many ways. Um, but at the same time, I think there's, there's a real tradition um, of bad heroines. Maestra is the first part of a trilogy of thrillers. Um, the next two books will be completed by summer this year. I think perhaps it's not giving too much to, wait to say that things in book one are not quite as you thought they were.